Welcome back to another Reddit Excel video where I'm going to be going through some problems on Reddit regarding Excel and I'm just going to be trying to solve them and just hopefully give some tips and pointers of what I would do and how to maybe go a little step further as well and actually improve it. So if you like these videos, just don't forget to drop a like. Let's get into it. So in this problem, I'm going to show you how to use the day formula to use a calculation based on a specific date. So in this problem, the person is trying to manage their property income. Uh, they've got some values here and they want to be able to calculate a late charge, which will be based on the date that's paid. And if that date is greater than the fifth of each month, then calculate the late charge, otherwise don't. So let's jump straight into that. Okay, so I've set up the problem as described and here's the look of that. So this late charge calculation here, as you can see, does not reference the date paid at all. So it will always calculate a late charge regardless of what this value is here. So in order to include that, we're gonna to need to use the day function, which basically just returns the day part of any date. So as you can see, it returns 28. So let's include that in here. The way to do that is another if statement. So if day this is greater than five, as in the problem, then do the calculation. Otherwise, it's just gonna be zero. So there we can see that and I'm going to test this. So it just puts this as four and as you can see it calculates it as zero. To make this one bit better, I would include a late day. And that way this could be dynamic. So if this changes, you don't have to go in and change all your formulas because it could be loads of rows here. So what we're going to do instead of hard coding five, we're going to reference this and then make it absolute with F4. And then that way, if this changes, then everything else will calculate by itself and you don't have to go in and change all your formulas. In this problem, I'm going to show you how to use indirect to grab data from different tabs without having to manually write the formulas. So in this problem, they've got about 600 tabs. They have a list of all the names of the sheets and they want to be able to pull in certain cells um, without having to type out each name. So as you can see here, if you were to you know, want to grab the, the values from, from all of these tabs, you'd have to literally go equals and then like that and do that for countless and this person's got 600 so it's obviously not not the way to do it so i'm going to show you how to use indirect to achieve that so let's just remember this format of referencing a different sheet so what we're going to need to do is use indirect and the reference is going to be this name here and then we're also going to need to include the cell reference that we're going to want as well uh, and as you can see this isn't going to work because we need to make sure that we use the exact same format as found here so to tweak that, we're just going to need to add some text. So first you need an apostrophe before the, the name of the sheet. And we use and to join that. And then after it, we're going to need to use apostrophe as well as an exclamation mark to complete the reference. As you can see that that works. Then to quickly drag this to the right and down, we want to lock the A reference to the column. So press F4 a couple of times make sure that the dollar sign is just before the column and then when you drag down it will stay with that column then same for this one but we want to lock the row reference rather than the column this time so then make sure that the dollar sign is right next to the number and then this way when we drag across it doesn't change row and then when we drag down it's always referencing the correct thing so there's been another reddit excel video i hope you guys are like that uh, if you want to see more of this and you have any other problems that you want me to discuss uh, feel free to drop a comment below i've also created a subreddit for these sort of things so if you have any questions just drop me a message in one of those one of those places and i'll try and include it in a future video so yeah if you like that make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you next time